Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Node.js tutorial for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can use EJS with Express and Node.js. Now in this video, I'm going to give you some more information about EJS and I'm going to show you how we can use some control flows uh, with uh, your EJS uh, templating engine. And uh, let's see how we can use it. For example, we want to use a for loop, uh, which we normally use on the client side. Uh, using uh, for loop, we can iterate over any array or something like that. How we can use uh, with the help of EJS. Let's see. So for that, I'm going to modify uh, this uh, data structure, which we have. So we have uh, the students JSON. And earlier, uh, I have uh, created something like that, that it's like a key value pair. But in a more complex uh, application, a student can have uh, a name, surname, age, or many other things, right? If you are querying with uh, in the database, it can uh, have uh, many, uh, you know, data, data columns. And then I will, uh, you know, try to emulate that thing with this uh, JSON. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to just uh, modify this uh, array like this. And uh, for the student ID one, I'm going to first of all add uh, the student's name here. And then I'm going to add uh, the student's name. So for example, Mark. And then, for example, let's say what subject he has taken. So I'm going to just write uh, subjects here. And then this is going to be an array. Okay. So array you can uh, do with square brackets. And let's say uh, this student is of uh, some computer class or programming class. So he has taken uh, C++, Java, for example. And let's say he has taken C also. And same we are going to do with other two students. So instead of this, I'm just going to copy and paste this code here and here also. Okay. And then the student name was Tom here. And the student name for the third ID is, for example, John, right? And the programming language, let's change the programming language. So for example, second student like C sharp, Python and let's say he likes some database MySQL and third for example he likes uh, JavaScript and he likes uh, for example SQLite database and he likes C itself okay so we have this kind of uh, data structure now for the students right now this we want to show on our client how we can do it so for that in the last video, we have created this kind of, uh, you know, render method and we have injected this kind of uh, JSON there, right? Now, because we have modified our uh, JSON data structure, so here we will take the student uh, JSON and then we will first of all find its ID. So th this will be this one. And then dot name is going to give you the name of the student. Okay, and then ID will be same. And let's say we want to add one more field, which is uh, subjects. Okay, so I'm just going to copy here and paste it here. And then subjects, how we can uh, extract the subjects. Let's see. So I'm just going to just give the line break here. And subjects will be the same as the name. But instead of subjects, uh, instead of name, we will just uh, replace the name with the subject so you can uh, do something like this now this is going to be uh, sent as an array to the client so the client egs file has to uh, you know parse it or iterate over this array and then uh, you know show the output right so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to just add a h1 tag and uh, then I'm going to just write here, for example, subjects. And then I'm going to add a 
unordered list or ordered list uh, whatever you want so for example i'm going to add an unordered list here so let's add an unordered list so ul for unordered list and then we can inject uh, for example some javascript code for parsing uh, this uh, subjects array right so what we are going to do is we are going to write the name of uh, the array so this time the element name is subject we want to pass this uh, element right so we will take this element subjects and then we will iterate over it so there are many ways of iterating over uh, array in javascript we are going to just use for each for example okay so just write uh, for each and then we will uh, just uh, write a callbacks function so just write uh, function and then just write for example item and then just uh, we will iterate over all the subjects and we will print it okay and don't forget to give uh, the ending uh, bracket and the semicolon here now the way you uh, you know show this using ejs is uh, the same way you used in the last video so you use this uh, starting angle bracket and then a mod symbol but for uh, the javascript you don't use uh, this kind of equals for the code right so you just need to use uh, for or example this starting angle bracket and mod and in the end the mod and then closing angle bracket right and then you need to do the same here also with the next line like this okay so you don't uh, need to use equals here whenever you are using for example a javascript function and then you can uh, normally uh, you know add a html uh, tag once again so for example this is a list item for us so i'm going to just write list item and then uh, we are going to just print that item so how we if we can uh, print it we just need to print the item because uh, this item contains our uh, you know data for example subject right so the way you do it uh, using ejs you just need to do this angle bracket percentage equals as we have done in the last video like this right and then this would be the item right so all the items will be iterated so let's save our code and let's run it and let's see what's the result so i'm going to uh, ask for the student one so student and then one and then refresh the page so we got the error and let's see what the error is so it says syntax unexpected token then this curly bracket so we need to search for uh, this kind of uh, bracket and uh, let's see where it is so in our uh, function yeah so i have closed this anonymous function here we don't need this uh, extra bracket here because we are closing this bracket for this function here right and this curly break is brace is with this one and this is the item right so there was an extra bracket here so that's why the error was coming let's refresh the page once again and now we see the output right let's see the output for student 2 and now he has different subjects right and let's see the output for student 3 and he has the different subjects right so in this way you can use arrays and javascript code with ejs so i hope you have enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and bye for now